FDI is the main mechanic that makes up the defensive aspect of all Smash games. Great tool for repositioning and surviving killer blows. In Melee, when a character is hit, they're sent flying at a set trajectory. The way I visualize it is by thinking of a triangle. Vector A is a direction Falco is being sent. Vector B is a control stick input. So by moving your control stick, you're shifting the angle to be sent at a favorable position. In this scenario, Falco has five options, but generally it's best to DI perpendicular because it gives you more height and in turn, more options to recover. This is survival DI. DIing towards the stage to survive a fatal hit. Then there's combo DI. DIing while getting comboed, obviously. The general rule of thumb is to DI away at low percents and towards the platform if you can. There's a better chance to escape, but don't be predictable about it because the best option may not always be the best option. The platform sometimes. Yeah, you do see that on both sides though, right? Like right mm -hmm. there, Plumsy, mm -hmm. and he's gonna DI onto the platform or, or mix it up to where sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Yeah. Flipping the rolls, where do they like to DI towards? Center stage? Top platform? Are they making conscious decisions? Take note of these habits and be ready to react because you don't want to rely on reading your opponent's DI, but it can be pretty sick to pull off. Falco's main combo starter is when Fox gets hit, he has three options. DI away, DI in, or no DI. Falco can react to all these options. Let's say Fox DI's out and Falco misses the follow-up. Fox escapes, ending the combo, but if Falco does execute, we enter another mix-up situation. And this repeats until the combo ends or is dropped. SDI is a bit different from regular DI. In Melee, when a character is hit, they enter a frozen state known as hit-like. Different moves will freeze for a certain amount of frames, the stronger moves having the most. It's performed by inputting a direction on the control stick on each frame of hit lag, excluding the last, allowing you to teleport a short distance. At first glance, it looks useless. But like the eye, it alters your character's flight path and is especially useful to escape multi-hit moves. This right here is Samus Up Smash. A multi-hit move with five hitboxes, launching the opponent on the final hit for an easy follow-up. In this scenario, where should Falco SDI? Up, away, or up and away? If you chose any answer, you are correct. Up smash is considered as one of Samus's worst moves, pretty much negated by SDI. Each consecutive hit lacks enough knockback to chain the hits together, so most of the time opponents just slip out. It's practically never seen in competitive play, because there are usually better options. There are three positions registered on the control stick. Neutral, Cardinal, and Diagonal. SDI is registered when either of these scenarios are met. 1. The stick travels from neutral to cardinal. 2. Neutral to diagonal. Or 3. Cardinal to diagonal. For example, pressing left then up left is two SDI inputs. But pressing up left then left will only result in one SDI because it's not registered going from diagonal to cardinal. Inputting on each frame requires task levels of precision. So realistically, humans can SDI every other frame, which is still hard to pull off. Quarter circle DI is the easiest method for hitting multiple SDIs consistently, performed by moving the control stick in a quarter circle motion, crossing the cardinal line once. Good DI puts you where you want to be, 
It's one of the more difficult aspects to master because in the middle of a match, it's hard to keep up with what and when you're getting hit by until it happens. Not to mention that percent throws a wrench into the mix. So get into the habit of anticipating the hit, especially in this hellhole of a matchup. With the pace of melee, it can become a game of reaction tests. So don't get caught with your pants down. What's up guys? In the last Road to Melee video, I focused on PLATFORMS! Since then, I've incorporated wavelands and edge cancels into my gameplay. Here you can see how clunky my movement was. And here is my improved superior gameplay now. That feeling of being zoom zoom is the rush I live for. In turn, I've noticed an improvement in my neutral and punish game. Maneuvering around more space gives me more options. Secondly, I've adjusted how I approach the game. I'm putting more of a conscious effort into thinking and reacting more. Crazy, I know. Right now, I like playing against floaties. I have more time to think through my neutral interactions. Playing spacey honestly feels like I need to be on crack. Okay, I know I'm bad. So bear with me, but fuck Fox. The fact that he can shine, spike me, chain grab me, and has bullish the best character. recovering the game. That's like 80% of you guys. So and I want to personally lame. say, fuck you. Now, on to the stuff I need to improve on. What's up guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I want to thank all my patrons for their month, I mean support. It means a lot and I very much appreciate it. And if you haven't by now, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. now, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1k subs by the end of this year. If you haven't checked out some of my older videos, watch those.